Hi, this is Etsyla16, and this is my uh, another episode of my campaign with a Chusu at Legendary. Now, in this case, I'm actually facing an ironclad, which is made of steel. I don't have anything like that in my fleet, and my ship uh, is not the strongest either. But on the other hand, I still have my advanced uh, uh, armor-piercing shells. At the same time, the enemies seem to uh, have a cannon which uh, fire in front. That's a little uh, bothersome. So I'll try to perhaps uh, extinguish the fire quickly. Doesn't seem to be a big fire though. But I'll just uh, make it under control. Now the enemy doesn't seem to have a particularly good aim there but I really don't know what it looked like I have more cannon than they have at the same time the fact that uh, I don't really have a particularly uh, good resistance against uh, oh boy it's starting to look bad yeah even if uh, it they don't have as much guns. Uh, they seem to be uh, fighting very well there. Okay, I have extinguished uh, the fire inside the ship. Oh wait, never mind. Got it all over again. Also, the enemy ships seem to have a very long range. Much uh, longer range than mine. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm essentially alternating between firing on the enemy and uh, trying to get the fire under control. How about him? He seemed to be just standing far away. Now, as long as the fire is... Uh, on the surface of the ship, perhaps I can win. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Now the problem here is really that the enemy has a long range. Even though he doesn't have uh, many cannons. Can put my uh, ship in fire fairly easily. But now he seems to have a switch uh, to a different kind of shell. Or did he? No, he did not. Or there's starting to be a lot of fire up there. As long as the fire is not inside the ship, that's fine. But yeah, they seem to be uh, winning this. Ah, uh, sadly, my ship is sinking. Oh well, so that's the first contact with an ironclad. And that is interesting. Let's see. Uh, let's have a closer look here. Alright. There's not many cannon on this. It's just uh, the fact that they can move toward you uh, as well as uh, shoot on you. That's a little harmful. Alright, so that was a decisive defeat. It's the first ironclad that uh, I meet, and it seemed to be painful indeed. So, from what I learned from that battle was that uh, those ships don't have much firepower. That's one thing, and uh, that means that perhaps if I have two ships, I will be able to take them out. But one ship is too vulnerable because the this enemy ship can put it in fire, and once your ship is in fire. Yeah, pretty much stuck. So uh, that means that I need at least fleet of two ship to defeat uh, such a ship. At the same time, uh, the enemy ship has a longer range, so that's something I need to take into consideration. And also, it's firing from the front, which means it's dangerous there. So it's a it will be an interesting challenge in terms of naval battle. At the same time, I still have the edge of having technological shell which are advanced. 
but of course it's not uh, as good as having uh, an ironclad as well which I probably will have soon because I'm investing in that sense okay trading route this trading the route that now let's see here four more turn and I'll have uh, better ships all right I'll merge my fleet here so that my reinforcements will be able to face this new type of enemy all right merging these I don't know if two ship will be sufficient so I'll pull back and I'll merge it with uh, this big ship here which I'll engage uh, against that small fleet there suddenly the, the enemy pull back I'll prefer to merge my fleet there in order to face that new enemy there it might be very expensive all right so let's go back to uh, what's it, what is important meaning uh, land war now that, there's that huge army there that's uh, really bothersome i will have to take care of that at the same time here i'm way too far from itashi to actually attack it so i'll try to continue to move toward it i'll scout ahead Oh, yeah. and it's even more well defended. That will be interesting. So perhaps I'll move outside here in plain sight view. Let's see what kind of army is in there. Yeah, powerful army. And what else is going on around here? Perhaps I will need to eliminate that army there. So I'll bring these reinforcements. Oh, they are too far, sadly. I'll do that. And perhaps my fleet will be in range to support. Yes, they are. That's good. So here, I don't think I have the strength necessary to fight that. All right, so let's go to plan uh, to the next plan here. And with my different agent, I'll scout ahead and see which side will be the best to attack. It's clearly that one there. So I'll move toward that direction. With my fleet, I'll come here and support them from afar. Bombard them and fail. That's okay. Okay, what else? There's nothing else I can do really. Starting to have a lot of living infantry over there. Distract your yeah, army. Oh, sadly fell. Okay. I'll increase the taxes. And uh, I'll examine that region because they seem uh, a little irritated. Here, there we go. That's okay, like that. Okay, my ally Saga is moving all over the place. Really wish they would land that army they have on board uh, somewhere useful. Right.
Yeah, I think I will have to... With my looting army, I probably will have to go up north. That sounds like uh, the best solution. I don't think Musashi is uh, possibly capturable right now. At the same time, they are uh, withdrawing a few ships. That's a good thing. Uh, will they attack there? They don't seem uh, convinced by it. Okay, our shinobi has been detected. Mounting on res, that's okay. Okay, modern army, what will that do me? Imperials, Shogunate, Gatling Gun. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. I'll research Modern Army. Here, I guess I will have no choice but to merge my troops to preserve them. And now let's attack it to Tomi. This will be a close battle, so I will do it personally, and that will be the next episode, so check it out.